Good evening, YouTube world. Welcome to the Arm Wrestling Buzz episode 33. I'd like to introduce today's special guest. We got Jake Fussell from Texas. What's up, Jake? How you doing, brother? What's up, Paul? I'd like to also introduce, we got the Arm Wrestling Buzz crew. We got Israel Chavez and we got Tom, the Arm Wrestler. What's up, fellas? How you doing? Doing great. We had a great weekend. That was a fun time, Jake, Paul. That was a good time. Hell yeah, bro. We're talking about uh, we invaded Houston, Texas at AWU4. What a blast. But before we get into that, I'd like to shout out the sponsors. First off, Vitacell, Stem Cell Therapy. If you guys got any injuries like us arm wrestlers do, hit me up. I am now an official rep for Vitacell. I could hook you up with a big discount. Definitely shoot me a message and we could uh, get you all healed up. Also, if you need some high quality arm wrestling handles, get over to gripzilla.com. Use the code Paul10 and receive your 10% off. So, fellas, I want to talk about this past weekend's great event over in Houston, Texas, that being AWU4. Shout out to David Kotlow. He's the man that put everything together. What an amazing event. Over 20 super matches. Had a great production team over there. Had Flash Pin Productions in charge of everything, along with Marcus Tedesco. They had Ian Wagner, Dustin Pools. They had Trey. I mean, these guys put a, a great, great quality um, content out there. If you guys haven't already, get over to their YouTube channel. Make sure you click the subscribe button and get to see some of the action that went down this past weekend. And one of the big super matches, and this is why we got Jake on here right now, was Jake Fussell versus Cameron Williamson. So, uh, Jake, bro, what an amazing performance you put on this past weekend, bro. So, first off, I want to find out how long you've been arm wrestling and how did you find arm wrestling? Yeah, I've been arm wrestling almost two years um, since um, since Devin came down to Austin, um, like right after COVID. That's whenever I started arm wrestling. But but during COVID, that's whenever I found arm wrestling just on YouTube. Um, just watching Devin Laird videos, and I seen he was coming down to um, Austin, and I went down there. That's where I met Dustin, Dustin Pools. I met Kalen. I met a bunch of pros down there. I got to pull with um, all those guys, and they they kind of just, like, took me in and just, like, just told me, you need to start arm wrestling, you know, so. Well, I'm impressed, bro, to hear that you're only two years in, and the way you are looking, man, is very, very dominant. You also know that you're ranked pretty high up there in the 154-pound class and in the hook ratings. I know uh, Chan Shaw has you over by, I think it's number 15, and uh, sure. you went against a very uh, strong opponent, that being Cameron Williamson out of Louisiana, and I believe he was ranked number 17. So this was a, a high-ranking match, and uh, I didn't know how – this was going to go because I'm very familiar with Cameron. I just threw a, a super match for him against Jake Houston in Indiana about six months back. And uh, he didn't get the win against Jake that day, but he was in it, man. And it was a war. And I think it surprised a lot of people. So Cameron was definitely, definitely on my radar. And I didn't know much about you until this past weekend. I know I did hear a lot of buzz over in the Texas area saying you were one of the local stars and everybody had you as the favorite. And I was like, I don't know, man, this kid Cameron is no joke. But then I got to see you two grip up and bro, it was some fireworks back and forth war. You definitely, definitely really, really impressed me, bro. And uh, I know a lot of people uh, got you out on their radar now. I know I had a guy, uh, Dan Schwartz, Warts. He's another big time 154 guy. He's got a big match coming up against Cameron as well. December 9th, he was hitting me up and he's like, yo, the kid Jake, dude, no joke. I was like, bro, I got to watch him. Get kids going to be doing big, big things in the future, bro. So uh, how old are you, my man? You look real young as well. I'm 24. Yes, sir. Wow. Bro. We're the same age. <laughs> yeah. So uh, That's crazy. Israel, Israel, did you get to watch him in action, bro? I didn't get to see his match, man. I didn't. I have to go look, check that out. Yeah, the dude is uh, no joke, man. Very, very impressive. And uh, yeah, he definitely. Uh, so give us some background, bro. Like wh what makes you so good, man? Freaking. Uh, why did you come in and, and just tear it up like you've been? Like, is it are you a gym guy? Like it's something you do for work? Like, what's the deal? Uh, I, I think I'm just naturally strong, but I mean, at the same time, I've done, uh, I've had a background of um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and um, I've, I've done that since I was seven, and um, 
So I, I've always been real um, coordinated with my hands and arms and strong with my hands. And, and yeah, I work a lot. So I, I work with my hands. So that's, um, yeah, just, I'm just real um, connected, real connected and coordinated. So yeah, you were saying you, you, uh, train in Brazilian jiu-jitsu like uh who did you train on because I also I, I come from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu background I was trained by Rodrigo Gracie and uh Matt Sarah and all mm -hmm. so, yeah who did you train under and yeah my dad um uh, my dad was an MMA fighter but he trained under Anthony Macias um but yeah so pretty much all my training came from my dad um he, he was a he, he was an MMA fighter so yeah, I mean, just 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 stuff I've I've learned. I've always competed in jujitsu tournaments since I was seven, but um, but yes, sir. But, like that, but do you feel like that uh, jujitsu background helped you at all as far as on the arm wrestling table? Well, uh, it, it made me a very strong, very strong person. So, like, I I can just tell that kind of sculpted me, as in just like my core strength and um, yeah, pretty much a lot of my core strength and um like my lats and um, just, just like uh, controlling somebody's wrist, you know, um, you know, just within guard or mount, you know, just, just uh, controlling somebody. So that's, that takes a lot of um, strength to do over time and work up. So. Yeah. I also heard that uh, you do something with power lines with the helicopters and all. And a lot of people were saying that they think that your hand um, strength comes from a lot <clears throat> of that. Do you think that translates over to the table? Yes, sir. I mean, um, I, yeah, I do. I'm a I'm a helicopter lineman, so I build build power lines with a helicopter, pretty much, and just fly around on a helicopter. I work work with the all the all the big the big power lines, the big big wires and big hoist, everything like that. Just yes, sir. Very cool, man. Uh, we got a super chat in from Julio Martinez, uh, 50 pesos. He says, Israel, please, we need some Mexican representative in East versus West. Grind hard, bro. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, man. You know, I'm working hard, working hard to get that to happen. Hell yeah. So, uh, guys, I want to talk about this uh, AWU4. Um, let's talk about some of uh, some matches that stuck out to you and uh, just the overall experience. Tom, uh, I know you were there, and I know you were tearing it up on the, the side tables and after pull table. I don't think you stopped pulling the whole time, bro. I think it was no, like – No, man, I'm, I, yeah, I'm still pretty beat up for that. It was a lot of fun. You know, I, I'm trying to work on getting more table time, so it was a great opportunity just to pull a lot, work on my, you know, technical stuff and uh, – lock in before i crushed the chihuahua in about three weeks here so feeling good it was a good time good weekend uh hunter Knopfs. i was i wish i got to pull with him but he left before but i saw his match on youtube after and he looked explosive he looked good he looked real strong and i know kaylin's really good really technical so yeah it was pretty impressive yeah that uh hunter Knopfs versus kaylin gillstrap and uh we knew this was going to be some fireworks it was a left hand match and uh everybody in texas this was like 100% Kalen's going to win. No, it's not even going to be close. And I knew different. I 100% I, I knew different. I uh, I seen Hunter a couple years back at the Olympia in Florida. And uh, the boy just put on a display that was just unreal. And I, I hit up Hunter before and I was like, yo, how is that left? Is it anything like the right? And he just laughed. He goes, bro, I'm lefty. He's like, the only why I haven't been pulling. Said, what type of dumb question is that? <laughs> yeah, you know, so the only reason why I haven't been pulling left is like it's been injured and uh, I'm finally bringing it back and I'm going to display people what it's all about. So I knew, you know, it was going to be a hard day for Kalen and uh, Hunter was just very, very dominant. That dude is, he lives up to that name, that Carolina killer for sure, dude. It's no, yeah. no joke. That so, guy is very impressive for do sure. We, do we know what's next for him as far as competitions? Did you get a chance to speak to him? Uh, we're going to get him on here. Uh, he's going to come on my channel in the next couple of days. Uh, we were talking. <laughs> uh, he said that he has a, a list of people that uh, he wants to call out, and uh, he's open to anybody, bro. He's down. Nice. Anybody nice. in his weight class. He looks like he put on some size recently, man. He's definitely uh, looking like he's sized up for real. But uh, Jake, I want to hear, bro. What's up next for you, my man? What what's what's the plan? I know you're you're up at number fifteen right now. Is there somebody ahead of you that you'd like to call out? Is somebody on your radar? Who's who's the hit list, bro? Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if you. I mean, I don't know if you noticed from the last match. I got a lot of things I need to work on, as in like my endurance. So like, so like, yeah, that's that's like at the at the, at the end of round three um, against Cam. Like my hand was completely gone. 
and I couldn't I couldn't cup anymore. Like I was completely gone. So I just had to I just had to rely on being strong, and and him taking my hand. I, I knew he was gonna take my hand, so I just had to be strong, and and bring it back inside and um, you know flop press. But um, um, yeah, I got a, I got a lot of things that I need to work on. Like my main thing is endurance, because because um, I know if I go against someone, you know like higher up the endurance is going to be a big factor so for right now um uh, i'm gonna keep keep working on my endurance but i will i would like to pull levi again levi knight because um i mean i mean why not i mean i I would love to pull levi did you guys uh pull at states that's where i first met you uh how how did can you just give a recap on the the states that was back in september the texas state championship for everyone watching yeah, yeah. Stayed, man. I got third. Um, I, I lost to Kalen. Um, I, 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 I was trying to slip against Kalen, and uh, I guess my finger went against the pad, but um, or under the pad, but and, and I lost to um, um, Frazier. But yeah, I beat I beat um, I beat Levi pretty it, it, like I, I I could control center pretty easy and and my height, but um, but I mean I I, I couldn't just pull him straight to the pad, but I, I was in total control and I, I just want to get it into my position and to where like I'm, I'm up like a, a high hook. I kind of get my shoulder behind it so I can ease him to the pad. But I Oh mean, man, that's, I got to say, man, if you've made it to number 15 in the, in the hook rankings and you're only two years in, that's pretty impressive. You're definitely doing something right, man. That's, and I know that weight class of 154 is they're stacked. So you're doing something yeah, good, man. Just keep it I'm up. Just, yeah i'm, I'm just what's your style <laughs> what's like your what, what what do you like to do what's your you know yeah what's your so, strong so, move so I used to it was all inside for me i would always hook and everything but like um the past six months or so i've i've really trained like my outside game pulling back and my rise a lot and pronation so like i'm i'm, I'm trying to be more of a top roller I'm, I'm trying to be everything you know i'm trying to be i can go anywhere but um, but for right now, I need to I need to get really good pulling outside because I know that's where the game is. You have to you have to be able to pull outside, and yeah. I'm already decently good at inside, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get really good outside and top rolling, pretty much. So it's a good plan, man. Good plan. Keep going, man. Jake, I got to ask you, brother. You said you want to work on your endurance. So uh, what does that entail, bro? What What's the plan to uh, get that endurance up? Well, uh, usually I don't arm wrestle that much. I, I don't I don't work out that much as an arm wrestling trainer. So that's something that you just have to do. Like I, I have to go out and arm wrestle a lot more and and stay on the pulley, do bands, stay consistently, do it every day. You know, like I have to do something every day like and, and, and do things for a longer period of time whenever I'm doing them. Like if I'm if I'm hitting a pulley or arm wrestling, just push myself to go a little bit further, just because uh, you know usually usually in arm wrestling practice I'll, I'll arm wrestle you know a little bit and then stop whatever but i just need to i just need to stay hard stay hard in it man and just um just not not be so um and i don't know just because I, I i feel like i'm really good at it um so I, I don't i don't need to um train as much but like now i i, I realize how um how important training is as an endurance wise so and you're I probably really super to, strong, so you just rely yeah, on that I really strength. Need to push that. I really need to push my endurance and push myself. So, yeah. Hell yeah, I'd like to just shout out some of the guys in the chat. We got uh, Devin's Forum. That's my moderator. What's up, brother? How you doing? We got my boy, Richard. What's up, bro? Just had his 40th birthday. Congratulations again. We got Tall Paul in the house. Crazy Uncle Jim. We got uh, Benji Mac. What's up, Benji? Make sure you hit me up tomorrow, bro. I'll connect you with Jerry for sure. Uh, Joey Bergs, hey my man Ivan out of uh, Kingston. What's up, brother? How you doing? Got uh, Israel who's on our show. How you doing, brother? <laughs> uh, shout out Stand. to everybody in the chat, guys. If you guys can just click that like button, help me out. Also, if you guys have any questions for Jake, please uh, shoot them out there. I'll uh, I'll be checking this. Um, so uh, Jake, uh, want to uh, find out, bro. Who is like uh, an arm wrestler that you look up to, man? Like, do you have any guys that uh, you know, like the top stars that is like the guy that you kind of emulate? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously Devin, but um, but honestly, like I, I've I've realized how great John John Brzezink is, you know. So like, I'm I'm still new to the sport, still learning history about arm wrestlers and everything like that. So it's just like 
yeah, like John Brzezink's the man to me, you know. So like that's that's the guy, you know. Just complete hand and wrist. Just yeah, absolutely that's, that's gifted and super strong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the guy, you know. But but yeah, the, the, there, uh, is there so many guys good to watch. Is there somebody you know? in your weight class that that you look up to that's like the top dog or? Um, I don't know how to say um his last name uh Daniel uh, Prokopchuk. Uh, he'll just sit there and just every day like all day just yeah what he did to Corey miller there that was impressive man when i watched that match i was like holy <laughs> shit he's just playing he's looking in his eyes it was a badass match I'm I real say, good, I was there in turkey for that one and uh, as soon as Corey got off the stage we actually went out to the bar right after and Corey just grabbed me he's like bro he goes i've never felt anything like that there is nobody in the united states under 200 pounds that will move that guy it, so that is crazy coming from Corey miller man and uh that dude is just no joke he's one of the guys that i actually follow in all my training and all that him being a smaller dude and uh he's, he's got but not even just that he's got a lot of instructional videos if you go on that i think it's 201 arm wrestling youtube channel there's like so many like gems as far as exercises that most people don't even know exist yeah I one arm wrestling i gotta ask uh jake this one man uh there's a big match going down uh december 2nd and that's uh Auden lorette is gonna be going against gabrielle young so yeah uh, i just i just watched your video on that dude I wanted yeah. to get your prediction on that, bro. What, what do you think is going to happen that day? Hey, Auden is going to smoke him. Yeah, we'll say that again. Auden is going to smoke him. Yeah, Auden's Auden's going to smoke him. And uh, why do you think that? Do you think Auden's got that? Uh, his, his frame, his frame's too big. I feel like I feel like Auden's just going to be too big on the table, you know, with the height and everything, you know. Yeah, I think I think Gabriel may may like like the very first round be fast, but but. Auden's just gonna catch him up high, dude, and just just be big. Auden's big, dude. But I, I mean, honestly, honestly, I, I haven't I haven't done much uh, homework on um on Gabriel. So he's have, explosive. I'll, I'll he's got an inside speak. press. He's very explosive. Yeah. But he said That's he's worried about I endurance. If if Auden stops, uh, I think it's most likely gonna be Auden winning. But if if yeah. Gabriel, I think if he can get him out of position or finish real quick, it's it's possible. But I, I definitely think Auden would be the favorite. Isn't Gabriel like 170 or what, or something like that? Yeah. Or? Something yeah, Gabriel, like that. Gabriel's uh, he's a lot smaller frame, but I know he's been putting on some weight and uh, you know trying to get up there. But uh, you okay. know, I look at Alden and he's very tall, so I would feel like Alden's got to walk around like 190, 200 pounds and all. Yeah. I would put uh, Gabriel more of like a 165, 170 dude. So you know, there's a significant size difference. Did you one- guys see that footage of Auden at that uh, tournament that we were talking about last week? He just competed this weekend. I the Ottawa Open, yeah. I didn't see him compete in the actual tournament, but my boy uh, Dan the Nightmare Schwartz out of New York, Primetime Pullers, uh, actually sent me a video. He went out there to Canada, and he got on the after-pull table with Auden, and uh, he sent me the video of them two pulling. And, and uh, you know, it was good uh, for me to see that because I know exactly where Dan's at. Dan pulled how, did, how did that go? Um, Auden got him, and uh, he Dan said that uh, Auden is very technical and a uh, very strong dude, and uh, he thinks that uh, Auden is gonna be the favorite that day against Gabrielle. So, uh, he did tell me he said that uh, I was on the next level above Auden as far as uh, strength wise and all. So, I, I, I did smile when he did say that. So, I am definitely interested in getting on the table eventually with Auden. That would be a a good one. Oh yeah! Did you see one. that poll? I I actually after our last week, I put out a poll uh, who would win, Auden or Paul. I can't remember. Let me check what the result was, but that was funny. Oh, I didn't see that one. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Damn. Damn. Super match it. incoming. Super match incoming. I just I just put it up because I just thought it was funny to see what people would say, you know. But uh, it That'd was actually really close. So fifty-two percent for Auden and forty-eight percent said wow. Paul. Match. Oh man, we might need to make this happen, bro. We uh, might need to, bro. <laughs> hey, I mean, what? I figured you it know, makes you know, sense because we're making a video. Devin made a video, and I think he was clowning me with that with the cowboy hat and the glasses. You know, I might have to go handle it <laughs> now after all this, bro. Wow. He was oh man, the impersonation. Hey, hey, should be going against Georgie next. Not hey. I think Paul Italia versus Auden after uh, December 2nd, December 9th, we can make that happen. You guys are close in weight, too, bro. You guys are right there. That'd be a good match. You better watch what you say, Devin. I'm going to have to come after Auden for this, bro. So We got a a super chat here. Um, Actually, you know, can you read it out and translate it for us, uh, Israel? 
<laughs> yeah, he's just asking if any of us is going to, if any of us speak Spanish or is going to speak in Spanish. Uh, we have a, we have a few people in the show who uh, will be coming on and we'll be having a little Spanish segment probably. Okay, well, ex but read it out. So, so. <clears throat> oh, it so. just says, um, "Alguno de ustedes va a hablar español." It just is asking if we speak Spanish. I do speak Spanish. Yo sí hablo español. Thank, thank you, Edna, for the for the super chat. Really, really appreciate the support for thank real. You. Gracias, dice Paul. So, uh, guys, I want to talk about uh, all the after polling and all that stuff going down at uh, AWU uh, for this past weekend and all. Jake, did you get on the, the after poll tables with anybody? Did anybody stick out to you? Like, let's hear about it, brother. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I pull with Kalen a bunch. Um, usually, every time I'm I'm around a table with Kalen, me and Kalen pull all the time. You know, Kalen's always teaching me. Um, you know, like Kalen has a way of just like to knowing exactly what to tell me. You know, every time you just just to help me a little bit better. Yeah, he's but, he's super technical. Like, like yeah, training with yeah. him is is real good. You can tell and, that and he plus, knows the shit. And plus, yeah. me and him are very similar in build. So like. He can like like he can relate to me like a lot so, um, but yeah I kind of I kind of went around on on wrestle a lot of people but no I, I dude I was so blown up from the super match I, I couldn't I couldn't really tell who who was sticking out to me or not you know so I was hurting I was hurting can't put it left bro can't put it on me <laughs> how's that left I know I know your right's deadly how's the left is it same level yeah yeah my my left is really good but it's just um it's just doesn't have the integrity like like in the elbow like so i i can't i can't do all the things i want especially inside or you know just just side pressure with my left um so yeah it, it's strong but it's just not as um as together as my right oh well, that just comes with time bro and a more table yeah. time you do you know yeah. elbow integrity definitely gets a lot yeah. stronger but I, I do want to make mention, guys, because I know everybody's been asking and wants to hear about that. Me and Tom finally did get on the after pull table and we were both pretty shot, you know, probably pulled about 100 people before at the, you know, I just want to make it clear. Anytime me or Tom step by an after pull table, there's literally a line of about 20 to 40 dudes. Yeah, I'd probably pull 40 plus, no exaggeration, probably 40 <laughs> humans that day, probably. Yeah, and we were we were going for five hours straight. You know, I mean, I got there at like three, and I was going till eight when I left. So, what I find comical too, it's always the big guys, bro. They they stand on the side and they wait to watch you pull about five to ten guys. Then all of a sudden they want to pull you. It's like showtime, and I'm looking at them. I'm like, bro, you got like 50, 60 pounds on me, but it's like they wait till you burn out, and now all of a sudden they get on, and all the cameras come out. It's it's. It was very comical, but uh, I was hoping to pull Nanya. I'll tell you that, but he didn't want to pull. Uh -huh. He was pretty gassed out after his matches. He pulled a lot of matches, but still, I was hoping to grip up just to kind of see what the hype's about, you know? Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, telling me he was going to hold me left hand after and all, and then I seen uh, he 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 did suffer one loss. I got to say though, he mm -hmm. was very very impressive. You know, he uh, he went there and he dominated all his super matches except the last one that he had against Austin Jennings, left hand. I think he was was totally shot by then. But uh, I got to say, bro, uh, I got to give him respect where where it's due. You know, I'm not going to hold anything against him. He definitely is a level above what I was expecting. Uh, yeah, he, he looked good and he actually looks a bit bigger in person. He looked pretty skinny on all the video calls and everything, but he's got a bigger frame in person. Yeah, I, I expect a war between me and him because uh, he definitely brings the energy. Uh, he's just like me. He gets very intense. He's right up in your face. He's screaming. You know, he definitely uh, intimidates the other side, which I thought was very impressive. Did you guys get to get to grip hands at any point just to kind of feel what that didn't, didn't grip up at all? Um, okay. I gotta say this, bro. The night before we went out to dinner and uh, we went out to Benny Hanna's and uh, we had two huge tables and it was just so funny how it started. It was he he was on the left table. He had he was sitting at the head of the table. He had his girl, his fa uh, his father and his son, a whole other full table. And then I was on the, the next table over the head of the table with my girl, with all the crew and everything. So every five minutes, bro it would just pop off. Both of us would just, you know, we'd look over at each other and the shit talking would start. And then before you know it, in the middle of the restaurant, we're face to face. 
ready to go at it and everybody's pulling us away from each other bro the all the the rest oh, oh, staff oh, everybody oh, knew there was this crazy coming up from all you guys had a face off in the restaurant before bro, it was like a, <laughs> you could have had a better press conference bro it was wild i mean his father's getting up in my face because i show up at this dinner wearing a shirt that says nanya's daddy so right off the bat, his father sees that. And he goes, take off the shirt. I said, come take it off of me, bro. Let's do this. <laughs> I thought it was going to pop off the second I got there, my man. That is so funny, bro. Yeah, it was a lot of fun and all. But I do want to say this, man. Um, What I was talking about before with the after pull and all is I got on with Tom. And I just want to give everybody an update, bro. This dude is the real deal, bro. I had nothing for him. Um, There was two three guys that gave me some the whole time in texas there was probably about, i pulled about a hundred people and uh it was tom and dustin pulls were the only one that really you know were able to pin me or anything and uh i gotta say bro tom you are insane strong bro a lot of people sleep on you but uh you are definitely the real deal man so uh they can keep I'm sleeping i'm gonna tuck him in december 9th when i whack the fucking chihuahua and throw his arm on the <laughs> Bad guys just just stay oh, tuned damn damn freddy's not ready we got a super chat in from texas piranha for 499 that's my man mike edwards he says nanya a clown and dodging me again but my boy jake fussell came in clutch baby great job brother keep up that hard work thank you very much for that appreciate that mike edwards and uh mike man appreciate the, the couple of the tricks that you showed me on the table mike is a, a table ninja and uh definitely uh showed me a couple of things that are going to help me in my next couple of matches really appreciate that bro for sure and uh yeah i know uh mike and uh nanya have been going back and forth and uh eventually i hope to see that match that would be also a good one and uh shout out to steve west we got steve west in the crew he's got a big match coming up december 9th under the greg brown production so uh what's up steve how you doing brother so uh fellas uh want to talk about um all the other great big matches we got coming up and all and uh one of those being the the big main event georgie savetkov going against devin Lorette. Really curious to hear what your thoughts on that, Jake. Uh, who do you think is going to get the win? I know you uh, probably favored to De Devin that being one of your favorite arm wrestlers and all, but do you think Georgie being as big as he is and such a nasty top role is going to be a problem for Devin? Yeah, I mean, I think I think if uh, if uh, Devin goes outside, it may be a problem, but at the same time, Devin is um, he he can go anywhere. He can stay right there in, in the middle and attack his pro nation. And, and, you know, I feel like he, he can – I feel like Devin may try to go outside with him first round, and if he don't like it, he may come right back up to his hand and attack his pronation. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, Devin all the way to me, you know, but, I mean, I think anything could happen, you know, because Georgie is a beast, you know. For real. And yeah. I'd like to introduce, we got Pradeep in the house. What's up, Pradeep? How are you today, bro? Ah, uh, we don't have your audio on, brother. Get you turn on your audio. I'm fine, guys. Thanks for inviting me. And how are you guys? Oh, doing great, bro. Doing, doing great. good. Pradeep, your your channel has been blowing up, man. Congrats. Uh, the hard work is paying off. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Definitely. We want to shout that out, bro. Uh, whatever you've been doing, man, I know you, you're changing things up. I know you got, I think, your brother helping you out with the edits and all. Whatever he's doing is amazing, and I can't believe the growth you've been receiving. Definitely deserve it, bro. Keep killing it. Yeah. Yeah, right now I'm like, I just find stuff that I want to upload, might want to make a video about it, write my bullet points, record audio or video, whatever, voice or, or, or a video, and I send it to my brother for editing. And... Sometimes, like few hours after that, he's like, "Oh, so what? Wh what should I put the title and the thumbnail of this video?" And I'm like, "I don't even know which video you are talking about. Like that thing is like out of my mind. Let's focus on the next one." So it's always like that. He tell he asks me what should be the thumbnail, and I don't even know which video he's talking about. <laughs> no clue at all. That's funny you say that because that's kind of like with me and my girl. It's the same thing, you know. I, I do the interviews and all, and then you know I'm already on to the next one. And when she says that, I have no clue what she's talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Pradeep, want to talk to you, brother, uh, about everything that's been going on in the arm wrestling world. With uh, you know, we got King of Table Nine coming up and all. So, uh, out of all those matches, we know we got Devin and Georgie as you know the main event. But uh, what's one of them that really excites you, bro? 
Oh, and what's up? We got a we got one of our special guests that just entered the room, Ryan Bellisteros. What's up, brother? How are you tonight, bro? What's up? What's up, what's up fellas? Can you guys hear me? What's up, bro? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. Clear. Awesome. What's up, fellas? Yeah, nice bro. seeing everybody. Hell yeah, bro. So I just beautiful wanna... faces out there. Beautiful faces. Hell yeah. I just want to catch everybody up. So uh, Ryan had a very big match coming up on uh, December 9th card over in Phoenix, Arizona on the Greg Brown Productions. He is going against a legend of our sport, Eric Wolf. And uh, Ryan, man, he is killing it. I believe you are number one in California in the 231 pound class. Is that correct, Ryan? That's correct. Yep. Right. <laughs> uh, number one, right handed. And apparently I got bumped to number two. Uh, left-handed or Scott Partington. So, Who's number one on left right now? Scott, Scott Partington. Partington. Okay, yeah. See, man, I saw yeah. your match with him uh, on the right. That was a freaking badass match, by the way. That was a, that was actually left-handed. Yeah, that super uh, match we had in April. I, I beat him that in that super match. I beat him for first, and then the next tournament we saw other. He took me out uh, left-handed one match. So. Wow, that's yeah, crazy yeah, how you could win the super match and then just the one pin in the tournament and then your your ranking is gone, huh? Yeah, that I mean it was have, have you guys faced on the right as well? What was that? Have you guys faced on the right? Yeah, we have. When when was that? When was the most recent time? Uh most recent was probably well, actually that same tournament. It was, it was after I already had a super match with Carl. And that was to get number one. So they weren't there after a super match, then uh with that arm. You can't get your raking tag, so. But yeah, you know, Scott. Scott's definitely. He's gonna. I've been on a rampage, just for sure. Yeah, that guy's a beast. Yeah, that yeah guy's it was a beast. definitely a huge accomplishment taking him out left-handed, especially left-handed. He's dominant left-handed, so that was a big win for sure. It was a yeah. big win. And then you know, and then and then going after Carl right after it's, it was uh, definitely a struggle, but came back ready to make it. Uh, you know, make it. Uh, make a name for myself after 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 an injury so i wanted i was head hunting I was when head when was the injury was that like a couple of years back or no this was actually last year i just hit a year it was a year in august august 1st i ruptured a disc so i ruptured my l4 l5 into three different pieces actually and uh doctors they wanted to do emergency surgery put me right you know put me right underneath the uh the needle and i Kind of refused, wanted to go see. I asked him, you know, can my body do this on its own? And they, and he was just like, yeah, it's, but it's going to be a long time. So it's you just had to rehab pain, it like, for like sure. month by and month. I said, well, let's, I said, let's see what happens. And, you know, honestly, it took me a good seven months until I started being like able to fully get back into like full strength training, you know, and so. It was brutal. And that, and that was my comeback was me calling out Carl and Scott for both the left and right super match. I wanted there. I, as soon as I wanted to come back, I, you know, I saw the rankings. I saw my name get taken completely off the list because I was inactive for over a year. And then, uh, so basically they, um, they took me off the list. So I just got pissed. I was still a little bit injured when I did the call outs. So it was kind of like fingers crossed. Let's hope things work out. And uh, they ended up working out. So it was definitely, I, you know, I wanted to uh, make a statement when I came back, you know. We so I looked, just looked at the list. Number one, number one, I want both of you. And have you and pulled luckily, Eric Wolf Luckily, before? I was blessed enough for both of them to take the match. So it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Have you pulled Eric before? Eric, uh, yeah, no, I haven't. My, okay. brother's pulled, my brother uh, has pulled Eric in a tournament before. And uh, it was definitely it was a, it was a war when they went up against each other. That was and, at the uh, L.A. Fit Expo, correct? Uh, I don't know if they faced each other at the Fit Expo, but I know they faced each other in Reno um, a few years back at uh, one of Denise and uh, Leonard's events. It was uh, it was actually for the world's it was at the for the world's qualifier that they had in Reno. And uh, they faced each other, so and, 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 you know uh, he ended up getting the win on my brother. But you know, it just uh, kind of makes me want to come back for vengeance. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I love it. So we got a super chat in from uh, Co One Yours for twenty dollars. Y'all, everyone needs to call APD and report the comment made on here by lynched by mob. I love making pottery. Lemmings number one, baby. 
Thank you for that super chat. I don't know what it means, but it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, I'd like to introduce, we got Greg Brown in the house. What is up? Greg is the man putting everything together. December 9th, going down in Phoenix, Arizona. I'll be the main event match going against Ryan Grandin, a.k.a. Twinkie Boy. Co-main event, we got Tom Stubblebine oh, and Tom Freddie oh, Sanchez. Oh shit! What's Next, up, coming Greg? up to the doing? stage, it's Candy. I mean, it's Ryan Grande. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the leader of the mother ninety-eight percent as is the East Coast is the fattiest Twinkie boy, Ryan Grande. <laughs> I love it, Greg. Italia, Italia, eight nine five one to four seven. Yo, yo, what up, what up, ladies? Let's fucking get this live stream cooking. Where the fucking Mexicans at, though? Mi compas, por donde van, rucas? Yeah, I love the energy you bring into the room. What is up, Greg? How are you tonight? Dog, I'm feeling it, dog. We got so much support. This shit is fucking popping off, bro. Wait, can you guys hear the curse word thing, the little beeper? No, my kids are watching, man. Watch that shit. Are you shit. serious, man? I'm this just, is a, I'm this just is fucking a... with you. <laughs> hey, Ryan, Ryan, what do you got? Hold on a second, dog. Hold on a second. What, what is that on your face? Is that a little feather stash you got going? You see that shit, bro? It's, a, it's been like two weeks since I fucking shaved. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Hey, <laughs> you're scaring Eric with that thing, man. It's you already sick. know, man. At least we know you're natural. Look at Tom's face. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh Pradeep, man. what's good for deep? You know, Tell me a story, Pradeep. Are you gonna take a long ass flight to the desert or to another desert? My desert? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No story. It's all right. You probably you probably would have won. So nothing interesting there. <laughs> What's up? What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? We all ready for December 9th? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got it. We got another special guest in the room. We got the head ref of the day for December 9th. John Bellick. Welcome, bro. How are you tonight, bro? Good. Thanks for having me, y'all. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. And I got to also thank you for making that video, bro. You sound very professional. You uh, took all the guessing game out so we could all prepare correctly. Thank you for that video. Really official. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm super hyped about it. Greg, what's going on, bro? Thanks for having what me. What up, John Bellick in the motherfucking house, ladies and gentlemen? Dude, this chat just fucking went off. Thanks for all the support. Hey, yo, Ricardo Vidal, I'm coming for that left hand. I want a third rematch. Fucking the second one didn't go good. I was tired. <laughs> Drove nine hours into Mexico to get my ass kicked. What what happened, bro? Uh, what was the outcome? It was two to three. And the ref... The fucking ref is telling him how to beat me. And the other Mexican guy's like, you're making us look bad. You can't be telling him how to win. <laughs> yeah. That video's on my channel. I, I got a video of the wall and tacos and shit. Oh, my God. So, guys, I want to hear about, uh, we know that uh, Ryan's going to be going against Eric. Um, I know, Greg, we can't ask you, man. You're, you're setting everything up. But I want to hear from everybody else. Who do you think is going to get the win? Let's start off with Israel, because I know Israel has uh, a lot of um, – he plays and, with uh, Ryan. Come on, man. I've been I've been pulling with Ryan since we since we both basically started arm wrestling. He's one of my hometown boys, so you know i got to go with Ryan yeah. Maestros. Yes, Absolutely, sir. 100%. NorCal power. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Israel, have you gripped up with Eric? I have not gripped up with Eric. Um, you know, I've, I've seen him grip up against some people that I've practiced with. He looks super strong. But uh, I think Ryan is uh, right there in terms of power. Tom, I'm going to ask you the same question. I know you pulled Eric before. So uh, what's your thoughts? And have you ever gripped up with Ryan? I have not gripped up with Ryan. I have pulled Eric. Uh, Ryan, do you plan on, like, top rolling through the hand? Or what's what's the main it uh, all depends plan. on how it feels once I grip up with them. I can usually, I can usually judge kind of whether it's going to be a counter, whether it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be hitting myself. You know, it's usually split decision. I don't go up there ready to know what I'm going to do. I just I feel a hand and go with what how I feel. You know, so <laughs> it all just depends on what 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 was what weapon wants to come out at that time. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I think it could be a good match. Uh, hopefully it's a war. I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't pulled Ryan. I know Eric's got a pretty strong hand, pretty strong inside, pretty strong like dragging hook type move. So, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt. Jump, you, uh, you Paul, is he, is he having technical lot, difficulties? Who's that? Eric. Eric, uh, no, uh, I, he he came on uh, half an hour early. I told him that uh, to come back on in a half an hour. So just send him. Oh, he's he's coming. He's coming. All right, I just, he just texted me. Hey Ryan, okay, based off all your pictures and then the our texting and then me like editing all your pictures in my program, bro. I I don't know. You're just like not what I expected, even through the Zoom nah. call. Yeah, I don't know. What do you, what do you I, mean? It's not what he expected. What, what do you mean by that? I thought his voice was gonna be deeper. I thought he'd be like better looking, you know, in the video. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the shit talking is on, bro. Let's go. Oh. Man, don't man, worry, Ryan. Good. We here in North Cal's right behind you, brother. We oh here. yeah, bro. Yeah. Boom. I ain't coming hey. in alone. I ain't what I want, what I want to know is, for deep. tell me a story for deep. Who's gonna win this match for deep? <laughs> Hey, what's up, Pradeep? I want to hear what's your thoughts, man. Outside looking in, man, we got Ryan Bellisteros going against Eric Wolf. And welcome, Eric. Eric is now in the chat. What's up, Eric? Greetings, guys. How are you doing? Eric, doing turn your camera. Doing good, bro. Good oh. to see you. Okay. Carlos, what up, Carlos? What up, Baja, California, Mexico, Mexicali boys in the chat like always. Thanks for the support, big dog. Oh, shit. What's up, Carlos? Carlos got a big match coming up against uh, Brandon Allen, correct? It's a right-hand match. Is that true, Greg? Uh, Brandon Allen versus um, Carlos Zamarabo, left. Uh, right-handed, yep. right-handed, bro. That's right. just going to be good. I can't wait for that one. That's going to be a good one for sure. But, uh, Pradeep, I want to get your thoughts, man. Uh what are we thinking here? We got uh, we got Ryan over here, who is number one in California, and we got Eric Wolf, a legend in our. I, I what is your ranking right now in Arizona, seen, bro? I've not seen Ryan compete enough, so I, I've not seen Ryan compete enough, so I cannot possibly comment on that match. And I don't really understand that part, like unless you have watched someone compete at least or maybe five, six, or maybe even a dozen times, it's not really possible to predict a match. Like we can all guess, but. I have no prediction. I, I've seen Eric Armisel multiple times, so maybe he he's going to get the job done. Okay, Eric, where where are you ranked in Arizona in your weight class? Well, prior to losing to Tim, I was probably like right under for zinc, but uh, I lost to Tim, kind of messed all that up. So now Greg has it all out of order. So who knows? Who knows where that is? So that's Tim, a good Tim, question. Tim, though, how because... much we're talking about you lost to? Yeah. Um, so let's not even go there. But um, <laughs> Greg is responsible for that list. So I will be making uh, plans to pull whoever the number one guy is under Brzezink as soon as this nine December match is over. OK, so practically you're, you're right up there. You're, you're in, the, like, say, the top three, at least in Arizona in your respectable weight class. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's say. some there's also some insight that might have to do with that as well there's another match that's taking place on december 9th that could be for another top spot and that's dustin allen versus sid um gotcha. 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 so yeah. okay. so that I, match i've already talked to greg about this the first the next greg card i am going to be calling out dustin for whatever spot he has so or if Sid wins, I'll be calling the Sid out. So it's, it's crazy one of those all guys, of these guys are training with John Brzezink. So it's like they're all just a bunch of beasts, man. We go to we go to other state tournaments and we clear house, huh, John Bellick? That plane's <laughs> a little heavy on the way back. <laughs> Everyone, well, hey guys, we got a we got a super chat from Paul Italia Cigar for two dollars. Looking like the Brady Bunch podcast. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, uh, guys, I just want to let everybody. Everybody know I'm trying a different format on the Arm Wrestling Buzz show. We're gonna always keep things moving. We're gonna we're gonna bring on different guests every 15 minutes, every half an hour, and just kind of cycling in and 
out people is to, to keep the energy moving and all that. So just uh, experiment with a new format on the Arm Wrestling Buzz Show this week. And we got another super chat from Steve West Arm Wrestling for $1.99. Eric for the W. Let's go AZ Power. Thank you for that, Steve West. Steve West also has a big match coming up December 9th. He'll be going against Matt Bustamante. And uh, it's also Steve West is also a down ref for the day. Is that correct? That's Scott no. West. Scott West. Oh, Scott West. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I don't think the refs should be refs would be uh, publicly rooting for me, even though they are. Hey, yo, Ryan. <laughs> when was uh, the last time? Have you? When was the last time you pulled Eric? They never, they never pulled. pulled. Never pulled Eric. Yeah, we, yeah. Where is Ryan? I don't even see him on the video here. I want to see this guy. Swipe your swipe your screen o- to the over. Yeah, Eric, the you'll be able to see everybody. There yeah, he is. The gallery face, view. Baby. Nice to see you, buddy. Yeah. I'll polish up that mouthpiece. Well, You're going to need it. You're going to need it. Yeah, Let me see that arm. Let me see it. A lot of tournaments, we've just have we've never faced each other. Same Let with that arm, bro. We've been to multiple tournaments together, same weight classes, but we just for some reason never pulled each other. And I have a question. I'm... Yes, Eric, Joe. Eric, how do you do when Carl comes over uh, and, and trains with you? How do you two do, fare? Well, why don't you just ask me how many times Carl's beaten me? <laughs> okay, so Carl, Carl has your can can get the best of you as far never, as never has. Okay, good to know. What I do mean, you guys? Carl's, what, strong, what, Carl's a strong dude. What weight are you guys meeting at? Two twenty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Eric, what is uh? How are you feeling as far as uh, confident wise? Give me a percentage of your chance of winning that day against Ryan. Well, that's an awesome question because as Paul, as Ryan just said, we've never even gripped up. We've never gripped up, so it's, he's completely unknown. But based on the Carl Ryan match, and assuming that Carl's pretty much the same guy that I pulled at um, at Kyle's gym, what's the name of that gym? The Grinder Gym, I believe. Um, if if it's the same Carl that pulled Ryan, then I feel like I've got a tighter inside move. But uh, you can never judge anybody by what they were eight months ago. You really can't. Or by pulling somebody else. Yeah, that ABC stuff does not does does not work. Yeah, so styles, I respect Ryan. Different styles are, are going to counter different ways. So yeah, yeah, one hundred percent treat Ryan as a as a threat. Um, that I would never even give myself better than fifty percent odds on anybody. Um, because I respect that opponent, or I wouldn't be pulling him to begin with. Ryan, same question for you, bro. Um, I don't um, have to be so humble. Pretty either, much bro. same answer. <laughs> pretty much same answer as Eric, man. You just we've never gripped up with each other. I'm not going to say I'm going to come in and three and zero him. I think at the end of the day, uh, Hart's going to come into play towards the end of the uh, towards the end of the rounds, and I think at the end of the day, that's going to I'm going to end up taking it, but. Uh, and there no, I'm not talking shit to Eric whatsoever. I mean, nervous is an understatement. Yeah, I'm coming in a little nervous, but we're we're gonna be. It's gonna be one hell of a show, that's for sure. No matter what. Yeah, that's the way I feel, Ryan. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, All right, yeah. now what I need you guys to do is to take the gloves off and stop being so damn nice. <laughs> well, well, Paul, I've been giving instructions. Oh, shit, I, saw, I saw I saw his video where he was pulling Greg. <laughs> that, that is Jesus. There's a zero, right? <laughs> Can't compare any of that, man. Greg was just giving it. <laughs> so I won't be, I won't be me or pull the, or pull the gloves hey, off for Ryan. Let's welcome his mother. <laughs> but I've been told to give Tom a hard time. So let's open up that door. Yeah. <laughs> you said what? Repeat yourself. I said I'm not going to give Ryan out of respect a hard time because we have a match coming up. But I've been a, I've been asked to give you a hard time for some and why, reason. And so, why would that be? Uh, well, a because I think I'm three and zero with you, and well, I hear you want, and I hear you might want a match. I told Greg because we were supposed, me and Freddie were supposed to face in July. If you didn't know, know. He, he, the week before oh, he backed God, out because I wanted to pull him in July and then Tom, pull you in December. That was my initial goal. But Tom, stop Tom, 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 yeah, Greg needs to not interrupt that everything with your animatronics, sir. Yeah, he needs to knock that out. I couldn't hear it under your pussy ass voice. What? Oh my! No, go ahead. I turned it off. Go ahead. What? Thank you, Greg. I already said what I was going to say. 
<laughs> Come on, Tom. And he said, gloves off. Where you at, dog? No, Shave your beard. Tom, you were supposed to have a match with Freddie a couple months ago. Right. So we're supposed to face in July. He backed out the week before, so we pushed it back to December. So I'm facing him. So we're hey, right. Paul, thanks for Eric, having me, man. Eric, I want to ask you, bro, what is your prediction between Tom and Freddie Sanchez? I'm getting to it. I just pulled Freddie two days ago. I was just in El Paso. And what did you so, feel? Well, Tom, what are you coming? What What are you guys coming in at? Wait, why? Two forty two. All right, because I pulled Tom. Like I said, probably three times. A year ago. It was like September of last year. Well, hang on. Hang on. I was going to give you a compliment there. So I pulled you twice in a tournament when you were lighter. And then I pulled you after a tournament when you started to, when you pulled a heavyweight class or a 42 class, right? And I don't know if I'm going to give you the compliment now, but I think I will anyway. So you felt a lot stronger on, on that, on that point when you were heavier. And that was a year ago. And that was a year ago, right? So I'm assuming you're even stronger now, right? So I think, and my boy is Freddie, um, but I don't think Freddie gave me everything he had this weekend. But using the Freddie that I felt this weekend and the Tom that I remember from last year, it's going to be a good match. Um, and I'll leave it at that because I think, Tom, you do have a slight edge here. On, on the right, though, what about the left? Oh, you pulling left doing both right? arms. Yeah, both arms. Oh, oh, I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna win left hand. Yeah, he knows about my left. <laughs> no, I think you're gonna win left hand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Paul, I think. Uh, I think uh, Jake needs to get out of here. Yeah, peace Jake. out, Paul. Thank you so much, Jake. Thank you Thanks for coming on, brother. Really appreciate. It. I can't wait to see what match you take on next. Hopefully, you get that Levi Prince match and uh, yep. keep doing the big things, bro. Thanks for uh, coming yeah. on, man. Have a good one. Well, keep up care. the training. Keep up the Happy training, Thanksgiving, man. Thanksgiving, Jake. Happy Thanksgiving, yeah, happy Thanksgiving man. John, what right. are you walking around at right now? 242. Okay. Hey, Ryan. You were, you, oh, like guys. Derek was saying, you were in the lower weight class, right? Because I remember so you. So let me, I'll give a breakdown. Uh, first time lower. we pulled was at the Brzezink Cup. That was in 2021. So I was about a year and a half into the sport. Uh, he destroyed me. Uh, then we faced, let me think. Uh, I think it was about maybe four or five months later, we pulled in Vegas. Uh, for the finals, I got second on the right. He won on the right. Then the third time we pulled was at King of Cali, I believe, or one of the tournaments in December, or no, I think it was September at Grinder Gym. And he beat me uh, on the right, I believe. And then I got him on the left that day. And then we pulled that December and just an after pull. So that was the last time we pulled. Yo, I would love to see you two grip up on after pull table, Tom and Ryan. I think that would be a, a real good one. Oh, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, Tom, have you ever pulled Ryan? No, I haven't. Uh, so no one, nobody knows how Ryan pulls. Because I got to call Carl. That's what I, I know how Carl. Ryan pulls. I know how he pulls too. <laughs> I've pulled Ryan for like eight years. <laughs> That's our North Cal homie right there. But we ain't yeah, giving well, no top secret shit. <laughs> well, well, in well, obviously, obviously, I train with Eric, um, and to stay and to remain as neutral as possible as the referee. Um, I will say after watching, I've watched Ryan for a long time and from what it looks like, I do feel like it's going to come a lot down to the, to the arm because, um, and I also think it's going to, the straps are going to play a massive, massive, uh, factor as well. So you're telling me I'm going to win. You're telling me I'm going to win, John. That's what you're basically telling me. (laughs) (laughs) Who is the favorite in the strap game? Let, let's ask Israel on that one. Uh, man, I don't know. Ryan's Ryan's pretty good in and out of the straps. Uh, I think that when he's in the straps, he is more connected to where he wants to be. So, you know, it, I think his lane is strong there. So, I'm, you know, I'm, no matter how I, which way I paint it, I'm going to go with Ryan. Ryan winning, you know. So, you and think Ryan, you think- know, man. Watching Ryan intensity, bro. That dude brings it, bro. He comes <laughs> in there with energy that is crazy. So uh, definitely uh, going to keep on the table, it. man. Leave it all on the table. I and hope it goes in the straps people, between you guys for sure. People will know, like Eric. Oh, it will. Take, Eric, you take me out, man. You, you've got the best version of me. So kudos to you, man. That's all I got to say. I leave all right. it all on the table. Well, if, if everybody's thinking that the best match would be in the straps, why don't we just make it oh, auto yeah. straps? 
Absolutely. I think so. To. I'm like, let me think I about think so. that. I might have to just go jump straight to it. Got to keep you Ooh. from bitching and moaning as much as I fucking see you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> until, we, until we get to the strap. <laughs> so he was that a well. yes? Was that a yes? We'll see. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get there Friday night. Okay. We'll, we'll see if you ever make weight. <laughs> Dude, I could pull my scale out right now and get on it. I'm, I'm at 220 right now. Yeah, I mean, you're big. You're a big 220, Eric. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, um, gotta make mention, guys. I just got word that uh, my coach and my uh, my corner man will be making a trip. I got Bob Brown gonna be there. He's coming in nice. Saturday morning. Hey, corner, nice. super excited about that. Also got Justin Green coming to help as well. So uh, got my U- Utah guys backing me. I'm very very yeah, excited. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Twinkie be- boy, if you're listening, you got some problems coming your way. And I got to make <laughs> mention, bro, all of a sudden, he's all of a sudden sounding confident over there. This dude hits me up today, and he's like, I hit 320. I'm trying to hit 350. I'm like, holy shit, bro. This dude's going to have like 150 pounds on me that day. But uh, it doesn't really matter, man. I'm going to take that boy for a ride regardless. So I can't there wait. You there you go. Hey, quick question for Ryan, um, if he's still around. Uh, yeah. Ryan, just a serious question because I've been watching you, but I have never had the honor to pull you. But it always seemed like when I saw you, you were three thirty, two thirty ish. You know, like in the round robin, you did two thirty, and and I and I've seen you uh, at in California at two thirty twos. Yep. What are you weighing now? Uh, I walk around anywhere probably about two twelve. This morning I was two fifteen. And then yeah, Ryan was sna- uh, snagging like a motherfucker last right. night. <laughs> but it's funny because Ryan, my, my one of my training partners, Ryan Robinson, said that he first pulled you when you were like 180. I was 180. That's when I first started. When I, my first competition, I entered in 175s, 174, right on. or whatever it was. Yeah. And then yeah. and then I gained a little weight. I was a you know I was back, I was back in my partying days, so I was a lot. Okay, smaller. Now that, that was what I was going <laughs> to ask you. That's you know, a full and then, and then as I. And then once the kids started popping out, then I started getting bigger. You know, my training started getting less. So then my weight started getting way up there. But yeah, I got up to about 250 was the heaviest I got. Yeah, I've seen it there. And so how'd you get to 212? Was, about, was it natural? Yeah, it was about three years ago, probably about three years ago, I started really taking my health and my fitness, like really, and then train into a whole nother level. So then kind of balanced it, everything out, got down to about 205. And then that was just like cutting, you know, I was doing like intermittent fasting and then fasting for 24 hours. So I got down to about 203 and this was just a couple months ago. And then now I'm just kind of, I went to Mexico and then came back from Mexico and that whole, I kind of gained about 15 pounds since right then. So I'm Mexico. Let me see that bicep. Oh, nice. boy. Yeah, Unshow. Yeah. I got to say, though, the Eric the is looking I super thick, lighting. too, bro. Bro, yeah. Eric, see that, bro. Good. Let's see that. Yeah, we're Damn, bro. Eric, man, this one's got pythons. We all know that. I still got to do that 101 curl before the before the ninth for you, just so you got the video. Yeah, so well we just, the Greg, let's work on that. Let's work on that. Just show me the night before. I'll be there. I can come. I can come Saturday <laughs> afternoon if you want. No, I'm not showing you. I'm showing you tacos the night before. <laughs> we got a. We got Freddie Sanchez that said uh, he goes. I would love to see Twinkie beat Paul. It would be the biggest upset ever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shot fired, Freddie. Oh wow, no, bro. get him, Tom. <laughs> Rip that oh, arm shit. off, bro. Oh shit, man. Shit's so, Tom, Tom, what's going to be the score with you and Freddie? Freddie? What is your prediction? My prediction on the match with Freddie. Yeah, on the left or the right? Oh, uh, the right. I think. I think the. I don't. I don't. I. I don't know how Freddie does. I'm gonna left, win. But... I said it last time. I'm gonna win. What's the score? Score's gonna be like straight to the pad or what? Mm. Score. I. It, I'm not even thinking about the score. I'm just thinking about winning. To be honest, these are these questions don't even matter to me. I mean, you think you're like, not even gonna feel him or what? Like, what's your what's going on? No, I think. Uh, I see. I don't want to. I don't even want to go into detail, just because I want to keep everything as far as my game plan a secret. So you guys are trying to like, you know, get at it a little bit. But There's I don't even no want to go. No secret. There. Is it gonna be hard or is it gonna be easy? You're gonna flash him. Or I you mean, I think I'm gonna stuff. fucking whack him. To be honest with you. 
All right, good. Uh, keep that, keep thinking that, dog. Everyone who thinks that. Greg, the biased promoter, Brown, coming in with the input again. Here we go. <laughs> no Let's bias. Hear it. Let's That's hear my it. boy, dog. What's good? <laughs> I know. I I'm know sorry, Ryan. You know, he's a good looking cat, but, you know, Eric's going to win 3 0 that day. Let's have some Tom Stolt buying energy. Everyone I know wins. Everyone I don't know oh. loses. <laughs> Fantasy Island out here. Hey. By the way, how did it go with you and Artem? Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm, oh, my bad. My low, bad. Low, low, Let, let's low. not compare Freddie Sanchez to Artem. Let's not get ahead uh, of ourselves. Hey, well, I know things that you don't know. And, you know, well, the I'm ones that, leave it Freddie, that. Freddie's right there with experience wise as far as Artem, right? They're, they're in both 10 years plus in. So you definitely oh. don't want to get experience for sure for that. Freddie trains with people who have pulled Artem. And there you yeah, go. Pulled, pulled Artem when? Because oh, <laughs> last year is a different Artem. We're in Camp Radio here. All you got to know is you're going to look good, Tom. Go ahead. Hey, good for you, Tom. Good for you, man. I hope you like the tacos, man, because it's going to be, you know, the Airbnbs paid for, free dinner Friday night. Hey, remember, Greg Brown TV, ladies and gentlemen, I believe Tom has the me 500. Potential. So from now forward, Thank you, Greg. From now forward, I will not be accepting any matches unless I'm getting 500 because Greg Brown would pay that. So let's That's just right. put it like that. I set the market for you, Tom. I set, set the market. The, set the boundary because when we had Lachlan on, I said I want 1,000 or whatever. That became a whole freaking debacle. So, I mean, now I got somewhere to go from, I guess. Hey, that's low-key your dad, bro. He was trying to he was trying to help you out that day. Uh, he's my biggest fan, I know. <laughs> got out to Arms Sports Entertainment. He's in the room. What's up, Tim? How you doing? And Nanya, he goes, I'm Definitely beating Paul. Oh, bro, come on, dude. dude. Nanya dude. looks savage. Dog. I'll, I'll give him. I'll Cameron give him respect for night. what he did last weekend. Oh. But bro, there's still levels to this game, my man. Just tune in December 9th. You'll get a quick preview of what's gonna happen to you, bro. I'm gonna show you on Grandin. But uh, yeah, Twiggy, stop, bro. Just stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yo, guys, uh, we got 330 people in the room and only 43 likes. What's up, everybody? Holding out. Click that thumbs up button. Help Gotta me. say it in Spanish, Paul. Yeah, Greg. <laughs> come on, man. Get get, get all Mexico going. Yeah, 80% right, of them right from Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, say something in uh, Mexico. Get everybody excited here, bro. <laughs> Vamos, pues, maricas, por donde van, rucas. Tom, 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 stop a mine. <laughs> now, now, now there's gonna be like 500 people coming in after that, bro. Like, oh, like, let me see what. I, how does people. that sound? Is the does the sound sound like fucked up or does it sound clear? It sounds clear, man. It's pretty good. Let me see what I got on here. Hold on. I recorded a bunch of fun ones. One about Tom and one about Ryan. Let me see. Eight nine five. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here in attendance and the millions watching around the world. <laughs> Welcome to the Arm Wrestling Buzz Podcast, hosted by Paul Italia. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. So that's what the live stream is going to be. I'm going to be on the mic calling out the calling out the matches. But other than that, there's going to be no live commentary for the event locally. Because my main focus is going to be in the live stream where I'll have like, you know, like, um, Reaver. You should. Oh, hey, hey, now, hold Greg. on. What are you saying? Hey, we can eat some fried chicken up in this bitch. No, Greg, let me like ask that. you, brother. We got, uh, we got John Scott running production, correct? That's, that's the guy that did the original uh, Monster Factory productions, the first couple of ones, right? Correct. Him, uh, him and his team, they're going to. John's going to be run it re remotely, kind of like how they do the basketball games. There's nobody actually at the game. They're like in a studio somewhere. And then he's going to have his guys flying out to do all the on the ground stuff. So one camera guy in a studio, one present the day of. I'm going to have my stream deck hooked up to the live stream. All of the logos that you've been seeing online, those are going to come across right before the match, during the match, after the match. So, you know. And then everything else that the athletes that we've been talking about in the group chat, uh, you guys, you know, Paul, you got the memo. Uh, Tom's the only one that didn't get the memo, but it's 
It's okay. We don't need we don't need Tom. Everyone else. Buy else. Everyone else. Everyone else. Everyone else. Bro, you're you're not in the, the whole group thing. And uh that's why I was telling you you gotta get on Facebook because Greg's been putting out a lot of like logistical stuff that you need to know. And uh, if you don't hear it, you might miss the bus, bro. So definitely get over there and uh, get in on the memo he's talking about. Bro. Yeah, you don't have Facebook, so you're not in the group. But I was explaining the overall. There's I'm putting up a fifteen thousand dollar cash prize, but since you weren't around for that conversation, I guess you're not in it. What yeah. is that for, though? Can you can you describe that briefly? You got to be in the group. You got to be in the group. <laughs> And, so it, it's private you information. You're saying you gotta until have a the event or what? Flyer with with an you know a a certain standard of selfie. You know, with like some light, a phone made in the last five years or whatever. You know. <laughs> so I send Greg like freaking fourteen pictures, and then he starts I'm, complaining to me that they're not the the correct quality or angle or whatever. I'm a professional. What do you want from me? I yeah, mean, I, 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 I got hit up by Greg, and he was he was telling me that time you weren't able to handle the instructions and all. If I could kind of talk to you about it, so I tried to, but uh, I don't know. We can't get a good quality picture or whatever. For, I don't it's know. Right. I use literally any picture on my Instagram. I do not care. Bro, None of those are good. Literally Tom. anything. They're they're not. I dude, I have like three different programs of software that I run all of it through. So. Anyways, bro, what do we got in the chat, Freddy bro? Loves, a ton of people in the chat. I, I let's, think let's, Freddy let's read some Greg, comments, guys. We got to interact with our fans. Freddy and Greg's thing, man, is just a mess with Tom, bro. That's it. They just love doing it, and they, uh, they're pretty good at it, man. So uh, definitely interesting to watch. But, guys, I want to talk about uh, we got another event coming up that uh, I just want to get all your predictions from. And uh, I want to ask Pradeep because, uh, you know, Pradeep hasn't really been involved with this December 9th and really can't give many predictions. So let's talk about Knuckles Up 2 going down January 6th. These guys are doing huge things. This is the next big promotion going on in North America. And uh, they have just added a couple of great matches. And uh, one of those that got my attention was uh, Camille Jabalonski, who just beat Dave uh, Chafee, is going to be going against Cody Merritt. I like this what? one. And I uh, kind of want to get your thoughts on that, Pradeep. Oh, yeah. Almost done. It's it's almost done. It's on the left. Yeah, it's on the left. Yeah, it's on the left. Yes, I believe it is left arm. Let me uh, double check that though. But uh, yes, if it is a left arm, yes, it is left. I think Cody should win this. I I just don't see any way how Camille. I don't even know if he has a similar press on the left. Have you ever seen Camille compete on the left? I haven't. No, I've have never I've never seen Camille on the left hand go. <laughs> so just as just assuming he has a similar style on the left as well, I don't think he's going to get into his press against. Cody and he should win that. So he's right there about clearly in top three in North America, including Devin Lerritt. So I think he should be able to beat Kamil Jablonski. Now, the only thing that I could see that could be a possible problem is how fast Camille gets into that press. If he gets the same speed on his left as he does with his right, I do see an opportunity that might present itself. You know, yeah, he didn't get too fast in that press against Matt Yashenko, that's for sure. Uh, okay. That guy though, that guy Matt Yushchenko is just special though, man. That guy's yeah. a beast. Yeah. I also I I got to make mention because there was a little some towards Pradeep that I seen this past <clears> week, <throat> and uh, that was with uh, Saban. You know, uh, Saban put out that video, and uh, it seemed like he made it a uh, personal issue with uh, Devin Loret mm -hmm. over not sharing his uh, post about his uh, wife having cancer and, you know, helping uh, raise some funds. So uh, Saban made this video directed at Devin, and uh, I saw Pradeep went under it and said, you know, yes, you are the last person to beat LeVon, but you're also the last person that got beat by chance, and... Uh, you know, I seen that Saban came back with a little snarky answer and all. So, uh, what's going on with you and Saban, Pradeep? Uh, can we expect a super match anytime soon coming up or anything? Uh, yeah, so I, I think the, the guy is like total. I don't want to use any bad words here, but let's say he's, he's kind of a maniac. And the, the, the fact that he kind of called out Devin Lerritt for not helping him, it's like, you didn't pay me money or you didn't support me with money with your social media following. Now you got to pay for it. And I'm like, dude, if he had to pay for it, he would have already paid you. Like what's, what's that issue? So that kind of solidifies the reason or the decision of anyone who didn't try to help him because that's the kind of guy who is going to call you out. I'm like, who does that? 
if you're asking someone for help and if he doesn't help now you're going to call him out publicly on that and the so the, the story goes back like a couple of years ago i had never used his face or his name in the thumbnail or the title of the video never even discussed about it ever it was like maybe in one video i discussed 30 seconds about him and he was like i i i was the last guy to beat levan and i i will be the next guy to beat levan that was 2 years ago and in my video i said that sebin bedulas you called out levan but i don't think there is any way that he is ever going to beat levan in the future i just don't see that happening and the dude was talking about me in his video he was like pradeep uses my name to get the views and like you have never <laughs> been on my channel never discussed more than like 20 seconds until this last video never been on the thumbnail or on the video so i commented under that and he was like i will take you to court <laughs> I was like you oh, clown you idiot <laughs> please please go ahead and do that so he has the money to take me to court because i said you cannot beat levan but he doesn't have the money to treat his wife what kind of idiot is that so that's why and people i see only two names in his videos devon lerit is a bad guy he's not helping him out and the second name is pradeep like pradeep is a bad guy he should have helped he should have helped out you can go go under any of his videos there is always my name out there always and i'm like what do i have to do with that man yeah if you have money to take people to court because he said that you're not good enough so you should have the money to treat your wife as well and what kind of positions are you holding like you 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 must own some kind that's my philosophy my belief and it could be different if any family member in my in my family like falls sick my wife or anyone what am i going to do first okay do i have any equity do i have any land do i have anything like any assets have i sold all of them and if the answer is yes only then i will feel like i've kind of qualified enough to to ask some money to people he's like 80000 are needed for the treatment of my wife and please give me the 80000 then what are you going to do what did you do you're like 40 years old you don't have any money saved up that's like stupid behavior in my mind and i don't feel obligated at all to help anyone in these situations where enough clarity is not given yeah and i i had my own run ins with saben I, i remember when saben first got on youtube saben just decided to take everybody's content and just use it like it was his you know you'd post up a video of like devin and i think it was the monster michael todd at the, the olympia and next thing i know saben's posting my video as his own and you know i hit him up i'm like bro if you're going to do that at least give me some credit for that and you know so he run me wrong a couple of times when he he flat out just steals your your uh, content and all and then when i was up at the knuckles up the the first one and uh you know i forgot which match it was i think uh craig tuye was going against somebody and uh you know i was yelling for craig and uh saben literally from the stage just turned around and he goes this is in bodybuilding and look straight at me and the whole crowd was like holy shit and he's like coming at you and i didn't know where that came from so uh you know saben is kind of all over the place and just kind of like it'll just come in and attack you out of nowhere and then the next day he's asking for you for charity and also find that interesting you know but uh you know i i don't wish that on anybody you know i know he's going through some tough times and all i just i don't know if it was the best move for him to kind of just single out uh devin and just kind of put it on him you know devin's got a million things on his plate and all and i don't think it was doing anything personal against saben and all but uh i hope they could resolve that But uh guys so uh what else uh we got coming up on uh at that knuckles up one that uh you guys think is a good match man we got uh Rockland yeah, versus Rivers. Chance Uh actually uh, Israel that was actually canceled man uh Chance Oh really Lachlan, Yeah Lockland had to uh, unfortunately had a had a back out of that he's got a lot on his plate with work and all that and uh couldn't make the trip But So uh, Ryan Bowen versus that uh that guy from South Korea that's that's one Yeah, but by a song yo, I believe I you know I probably really yeah, I I pulled him before. I have pulled him a couple years ago. Oh, Eric, tell us about it, man. Uh how did that end up and dude looks insane. If you, if you do scroll down uh in my Facebook page and enough you will find my videos with me and him. Um I won the first two matches and then I I my had creatine fever in my arm and everything froze up and I just kept following after that. So I I definitely won convincingly the first two matches against him and then we just I just started getting sloppy. So he's super strong. 
But um, who's he pulling again? Bowen? Right, Bowen. Yeah, I'm going to – unless he's gotten a lot better uh, over the last few years, I'm going to – I'm going to give the nod to Boeing on that one. And Eric, what did you say with the, was it creatine freeze you said? Yeah. Anybody knows if you take a lot of creatine before a match, you can, your whole arm can freeze up and lock up. Has anybody had that experience? Is it like a pump? It pumps out or? Yeah, it totally pumps out. It was blood everywhere. I mean, inside the, and I couldn't even close my hand and it proved to be very, uh, you know, a very bad move. So no creatine before a match guys. I mean, if you don't know that already, uh, definitely know it now because did that same good. feeling happen in some of those wars you've had with Vrej? I've seen some of those absolutely freaking crazy matches. Uh, no, because I after that lesson in Korea a couple years ago, I've never done that again. So, um, no, but don't. Yeah, so that's I would I I believe I would have won that super match because of the because of the way I pulled the first two matches. So I think Ryan's going to have a good day unless you know every like. There's a lot of people that don't think anybody gets better, right? So you you look back and you have a match with somebody five years ago, they could be a different guy. They can be a completely different guy five years later. So um even, you know. even within a year, bro. If if you would have yeah. pulled me one year ago and pulled me today, man, it's night and day, bro. It's absolutely be different people. So so. I'm looking forward to it. so that's when, where is that gripping where is that tournament? Because I want to go now that I've that's in uh, Fort Lee, New Jersey, January 6th, bro. And let me tell you, bro, this Knuckles Up crew, they put on an amazing production, bro. They must have dropped like 30000 40000 just on the production. They come with a full DJ, full setup. Like, this shit is next level. And that was their first one. I, I can't wait to see the number two. You know, they're, they're definitely going to be tweaking things. And so definitely... Take a look at that uh, January 6th. They also just put a, a ladies match that is very, very interesting. This is the number one and number two in the United States. We got Elizabeth Mozick going against Merlene. And uh, wow, I cannot wait for this one. What's your thoughts on that, guys? Let's start off with Israel. Who do you think is going to get the win that day? Oh, man. Uh, Elizabeth Ray looks very strong. She looks like. You know, she's bringing the power, but Merlene, she seems to be very technical and she she's a lot stronger than she looks. So I don't know. Uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, Elizabeth is newer. I'm going to go with so Elizabeth is about new, three they? years. They're, they're both really new, aren't they? Oh, the, oh they no. are. No, 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 no. Merlene, Merlene's about 10, 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Started, uh, yeah, Merlene is bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going with experience for sure on that match. Yeah. So you're going to go with Merlene on that one? Absolutely, yeah. Me too. I got to go with Merlene too, yeah. Tall Paul, I'll totally do it, Tall Paul. I've <laughs> gone to the semi-truck. I've, actually, my family has three semi-trucks, and we're selling all of them. So I'll just put one up as a prize, and maybe we'll get like 10 stinky truck drivers to show up. Greg just pops in at a left field with a total <laughs> subject. Okay. Bro, um, you got, you know, a lot of fans, they come into the chat. They have all, you gotta, you know, get your, talk to your chat, dog. The tall Paul guy's in here every week, dog. He's yes, out he here saying, Greg, Greg could do a do over, of, that, over the top two and put the badass big rig up for a prize. Hey, yo, Paul, I'll do it. <laughs> Pradeep, what's your thoughts on Elizabeth versus Merlene? I think Elizabeth may win this. She she was strong. I saw her in that event that Travis put out, the qualifiers, where she qualified for resources list. The side pressure is good. The finger containment is good. If her wrist doesn't go back, I think just, she can just go sideways and take the win. Is there a weight difference? Matter that much. No, I believe they're both at that 154 pound, I believe. I, I got to oh, say there's a weight cap. But they're they're number one and number two. I believe Merlene is number one and Elizabeth is number two in uh that way. Elizabeth. Play. Elizabeth looks bigger. Um I'm not, man, I don't know, man, because I, I got to see Merlene at uh the FAL. She just had a, a super match against uh Ebba from uh Sweden. And uh she was very, very dominant. And uh, Ebba is a very tough opponent and you know, trains with uh Fia and uh Anna Granitova and all the top Swedes and uh, you know, Merlene came by herself, drove all those hours. You really didn't know anybody there, got in there and just dominated, jumped back into the car and went right home. Like it was just like easy work. 
goal and you know to beat a Swede like that was uh very impressive I don't know how this one could go man I I, I love both girls you know they're both amazing pullers um I know that Merlene's got the experience and uh you know I, I would say that she trains with a, a little more stronger team you know they got Adam Morzinski and all the top Carolina pullers down there but uh, I know Elizabeth I, from day one when she came in in Texas. I mean, she was already like number one or two d from day one. You know, I seen her giving Sarah, um, Sarah Ray a good, uh, Sarah McKinney a, a big match, and you know, Sarah's also got a big match coming up at East versus West. You know, so uh, yeah, she she's very very strong. So gonna be a great match. <clears throat> Shout out to the high five for putting that together, and. Uh, one last match I'd like to talk about before we call it a day is uh, Jason Merlo versus Tom Holland. This one is going to be fireworks, guys. Um, <clears throat> Eric, I want to ask your your prediction on that one. I'm not really that familiar. I know Tom Holland. I would just because I know him better and his styles better. I would go with him, but I don't know the other guy that well. Yeah, Jason Merlo, man, just put a show on at that eight round robin, man, dude. Oh. Oh, that okay. I know it is. No, yeah, that's gonna be hey, a good. Match. Like the long, nice hair. Oh, yeah, I got it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy's very impressive, and I've never had a chance to pull him. So it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be very nice to watch that match. Yes, John, what's your thoughts on that one, bro? I think by at least round two or mid round two, we'll say by round three, Jason takes the hand. My question is, does it matter? Which is a crazy thought even to say because of um, how strong Jason is. But um, Tom Holland is pretty comfortable in some very uncomfortable positions. and uh, But yeah. I do think Jason's going to take the hand. I do. Yeah, Jason's hand is ridiculous. Uh, Pradeep, what's your thoughts on that one? Is there a weight cap on this? Because Tom is around 200 pounds right now. How heavy is Jason? He's same. around the same, bro. He just competed at 198. I'd say he probably walked around 210, 215. Yeah, right, right. They're pretty I much the same size, same so height. Tom and Artem recently practiced together a lot. And if you if you may have seen on the right, Artem was looking a little bit dominant. And on the left, it was kind of close. Maybe Tom had a slight edge. So it was close. Not that like big of a difference even on the right as well. How would you guess that Tom would do against Jason? I, I don't know, man. I I think Jason's going to be a problem, bro. Jason is, like, unreal polar, bro, and he's got the long levers, and he's pretty much got everything that Tom usually has the advantage on who he's pulling against. So they're pretty equal as far as height and levers, but I just think Jason... totally different styles, too. Yeah. Did Artem and Jason meet up in the 198 round, Robin? Yes, everybody. Yes, did. yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. Jason got the win that day, but I mean, if you remember, I think I think Jason gets the win that day. Tom only has a good hook. If if he's able to keep him away from that, then I think Jason will win. Yeah, I think Tom might uh, or uh, what is it? I don't know. I don't know. Tom is Tom is sticky there with the hook. If if it goes into the hook, I I can see Jason taking the first two rounds and then maybe. Tom slowing him down. If he gets into the hook, it's going to be a long day for Jason Merlo. Big, big slow, big slow. Tom, what's your thoughts on that, bro? Yeah, I'm leaning towards Merlo. I agree with what a lot of you guys said. I think the hand and wrist will be a factor. Um, if you guys remember, I think it was Tom Holland versus Giannis Amelins when Giannis kind of just took hand and wrist control. So I think it might look something like that. Obviously, different arm length, but yeah. Greg, what's your thoughts, bro? Bro, I'm a ten year amateur. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie to you. I uh I don't know any I don't know who those guys are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just I just cut I just bring the ADHD energy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the raza. I bring the los mexicanos para una carnitas por ahí. Actually I am very curious to uh with so much talent being in the room December 9th, are any of you guys interested in pulling like you know, catching the number one guy in Mexico in that after poll or what, man? That's got to be exciting. Is he ever Jose named? Maya? Yeah, Josue Maya. Jose Maya. Is he going to be pulling right-handed, though? You said he was injured. Well, injured to fly, to take time off work and fly to another country and represent. Okay. Yeah, I'm but not going to. But he'll still I'm after sure he can after poll. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that, though. But his, 
left, he got fourth place in Saudi Arabia uh, whenever Worlds was in October. And what an opportunity for Rad Rob, man. Dude, well, Rad Rob, bro. Stupid. I'm net. so glad he's pulling now because even if he doesn't beat the number one guy from an entire country, and I know a lot of people throw shade against Mexico, but still, I think, dude, the way Rad Rob fought against Tim Lewis in Vegas, and then the way he's been looking now, dude, I'm telling I've always said this. I've always said this. Arizona is fucking strong, bro. Oh, I can't baby. even place in amateurs, and I go to another tournament and I place in pros. Because <laughs> that it, who's at the barbecue? It's fucking Eric Wolf and John Brzezink and Bob Brown and Todd Hutchins. I'm like, they're like, you're terrible at arm wrestling. Well, fucking yeah, in this garage I am. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, Todd, Todd Greg, out of all me, the matches that you set for December 9th, which one excites you the most? I mean, I have a lot of I have a lot of invest invested in the Tom Freddy match. I mean, Ooh. we're talking about late nights editing mu- Tom's bullshit and looking for the best, the best little video to screenshot, you know. Bro, there's literally thousands. What are you even talking about? No, I'm <laughs> there's talking just about so the many. There's like pretty a hundred pictures of me flexing that you could pick, and you're trying to. Yeah, like, you know why like, they don't work, Tom? Because there's it's fucking. You can't do special effects <laughs> when you have your you're fucking just trolling. face covered, dog. <laughs> no, uh, the one I'm most excited for. Uh, shit, I, I've probably. Okay, yeah, what do you think is going to be the closest match? Probably Eric, Eric and Ryan. That's going to be like I think all the other matches are going to go quick, and then I think Eric and Ryan will take twenty minutes. <laughs> what about Paul's match? You think his match will go quick too in Paul's favor? What do you think on that one? I think it's I think either Ryan gets it or Paul gets it. I don't think it's going to be close. And if it is close, I think. I think Paul tires out because he's dealing with somebody's fucking thigh. <laughs> Prove him wrong, Paul. Prove him wrong. But, you know, who knows? Maybe Paul just gets him off the rip and speed, you know? Nothing but speed. Because I, I just lost. Bro. Hey, I here, just hey, day, here we go. I'm going to break the news for you. So I don't want to hear Will Pennington backing out, John Bellick. John, <laughs> you know Will, there's, there's like local beef down here, Paul. John Bellick said that Will and my buddy Sean from Tucson would be a bad match. A bad match. And then this guy, Will's like, I want somebody with more notoriety. Sounds just like Tom. And I'm like, I think I think you just need matches. The guy that is pulling Will beat me 3-0. Wait, I, I, I didn't say that was a – did I say that was a bad match? You said that was a terrible match, and we're at Eric's house, and you know what you said? All you Tucson guys are fucking weak. That's what you said. Okay, that doesn't <laughs> sound like me. You're right. You're that right. doesn't yeah. sound like that. <laughs> but when I recommended the match between my teammate and your teammate, or your, you know, Will, because yeah. you were trying to get Will a match, you fucking threw hard shade my way. Well, guess what? Will fucked. Anal, <laughs> anal rape, dude. There's no, There's no lube. It's going to be terrible. You just got Paul demonetized. Thank you. Oh, did, I, did, I, did I? What, no, what match excites playing. you the most out of all the, the matches we got going? You said me? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know he's not. It's I'm probably just biased, but any chance I get to see Rad Rob on the table is. So that's, that's Robert Radke. Um, he he competed at Arizona State left-handed, and he was like the only one that almost got into a f- a fight with some dude from like North Carol or the Carolinas, uh, because he just he brings such a level of energy, um, and it's not any malice. It's just he he just goes so. It's very similar to Ryan Ballesteros, where it's all you can't not watch what's going on because of his level of intensity, and. I know how strong his left hand is. Um, so I'm just, I'm really, really excited for that match. Obviously, I'm excited for the Tom and Freddie match and the Eric and Ryan match. 
Um, really excited for the Dustin and Sid match because they're two local guys. Um, but everybody, I just love arm wrestling, so I'm really excited for all the matches. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, everybody uh, thinks Pradeep sleeping or he's huh. nodding out from drugs or something. Guys, it's like 4.30 <laughs> in the morning over by Pradeep, man. He just got off a, a whole hey, shift. Hey, so. jo- sorry to interrupt you, John. I'm just talking shit, though, bro. Like, that shit gets me fired up, bro. When you said that, I went back to Tucson. I was like, guys, we got to train harder. He's kicking our fucking asses, bro. We got to we gotta step up. <laughs> when I first started arm wrestling, Gorilla Arms was the strongest team in Arizona overall. Yeah, because of David. David, Mark. Leo, Leo, David, Stephen Olmstead. You guys were on another level at that point. But, I mean, people have peaks and valleys, baby. It's it's the sport. I always say whoever can stay healthy, man. Because every time I was, like, going up and weight in the gym, bam, something tweak. Every time I started hitting on dudes that were stronger than me, the first one, I'm like, whew. That was a lot of power. Then the second one, I'm like, you know what? I just need to go harder. I just need to go harder. Hey, but your your guys' potential is the biggest now because you guys' size has grown so big now, and you guys do get together, and it's a smaller niche. So, no, you guys do are looking saucy Dude, soon. We got like three or four high school kids, and Smack that it. one that one kid is like curling eighty five pound dumbbells with one hand, and he's sixteen. Yeah. You know what I'm really excited about is uh, Friday night is first we get to try Greg's tacos that I've been hearing about for the last six months and, you know, <laughs> excited about. And then the other is we get to go over Eric's house and I get to see this gym, bro. I've been dying. That's what I'm day. excited for. A1 By the way, A1 that, that gym is right behind me right now. I if you guys see, That's what made me think of that. And I'm getting real excited as the time comes because, uh, you know, since I've been in the sport, you know, that is one of the gyms that I always was like, holy shit, I got to get there, man. I got to see that. And it was actually an inspiration to build my gym out out by me and also we had a place to train. But it, it's like one of those like ones that you know that it's like a big deal, like like Eric Waffels in uh, in North Cal. You know, he's he's been there, you know, 30, 40 years and you see all these videos of him and everybody training there. So when you actually get there, you know, you just feel the nostalgia and all. And Eric, yours is definitely one of them the mind so I, I can't wait for that friday night bro it's gonna people, be people think it's actually bigger when you get here you're gonna go oh it's actually smaller than i thought but oh, you know a lot of his notoriety yeah. is that we've had like larry wheels through here and bruce Inc. through here and hutchings through here so it's really more about just who's been in here working out more than maybe it's it's big it's got a bigger rep from that i believe but yeah we can give you a serious and i regret this that we're going to be here the night before because I would really like to put people through a workout, but we really can't do anything that night, so we can just demo stuff. But it would have been good to meet up here the next day. And Paul can maybe work out on Monday. Aren't you coming yeah. in on Monday, Paul? No, we will. We will bring Paul over if he's got time. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll make some time, bro, for sure, hundred percent. And you know, if you're hungry during the week, Paul, I, there's other there's other taco spots besides my kitchen in uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. <clears throat> Hell yeah, Eric's but you, you right, definitely though. gas definitely. your tacos up, man. So I'm expecting some some top-level tacos here, man. I'm the Serbian Hammer just came over for a king of the table with, with my team. So he drove two hours to where I'm at. And uh, we I cooked them. I cooked them. I, I did a little, you know, little warm-up. Warm-up before December December 8th. So mm-hmm. I I uh, fired up the grill and, and did the the mojo. I had the Mexican, the Mexican meat marinating. Dude, the guy was blown away, and I'm like, "Yep, I still got it." I, I got to got ask it. Eric and Greg um, for uh, December eighth when we do uh, the weigh-ins. Do we have like a good place, like like kind of like a good background that we could do, and just you know have the scale there and and get the weigh-ins and kind of make. We'll it do look- it right at my pool in front of our mountain, my my contraption that goes over the pool. Okay, we can do it there, or we can do it in the garage. So okay. yeah, we'll have a good background. His garage has got. Like wall to wall, just uh, handles and medals and posters from back in the day. So his it's like garage. A piece of history. It's like you're standing in a piece of history. I love it. Hell yeah, man. Weird. And it's going to be cool to have, uh, we'll have Bob Brown over there. Um, well, he gets in on Saturday and all, but to have all these uh, legends at our event is going to be very, very cool thing. Yeah. I appreciate all you guys, man. Ryan, thanks so much for taking the match with Eric. 
and uh, yeah, all you guys, Tom, me, man. Tom Stubblebine. Blessed to be be ass, man. Wait, what was that? I didn't hear you. What? I said, thanks for having me, man. Feel blessed to be asked. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you, dog. Oh, yeah. So can we just before we call it a night, can you just go over real quick, bro, where uh, everybody could check out um, the event? I know it's going to be on your YouTube, but give us times and all that. Yeah. Saturday, December 9th, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Greg Brown TV YouTube channel. And then uh, if you want to see some of the flyers, if you want to see some of the flyers, you could go on my Facebook, Greg Brown. It's my regular Facebook or on my Instagram, the handle's the same as Greg Brown TV. We got action there. Uh, the event is free and open to the public, and so is the live stream. So no reason you can't chime in for two hours. I know you guys go to see the Titanic or the second Avatar that blew ass. This is going to be better than that and shorter. And give us the address, Greg. Where? How do we get there? It's going to be Connolly's Bar and Grill, which is off the I-17. So it's a it's a bar in North Phoenix. I, I put I actually put the address in the chat so I can spam that in the chat again if you'd like. And um, I know a few people were asking for it. Here it comes. I'm going to do it again. And then Friday, uh, December 8th, what time uh, are we going to be doing the weigh-ins and all? Uh, that's why that was the literally the primary purpose of creating the chat because uh, – I don't know when people are flying in. Everyone's coming in on different times. Tom, do you know what time you're flying in? It's like 4 or 5 p.m., I believe, that I arrive. Okay. And that's what I was telling Eric. I'm like, man, by the time people fly in and get to your house, they're going to go check into the hotel probably like 5 or 6. I was, so, you know, so let's, Eric, just say, I was let's just say, Greg, let's just say 6 p.m. will start start all the weigh-ins and everything. And um, I'll have that going on my uh, YouTube channel. I'm just going to kind of do the behind the scenes and all and then uh we'll do like the face off and weigh-ins it'll be quick on friday night but we'll also have a lot of footage of just everybody hanging out and kind of you know the energy going on at, at eric wolf's house but hang on a second paul i uh, already talked to ryan on a text or a chat somewhere the minute he the minute he lands i want to meet up with this guy so he can see me weigh in so that'll be around noon so so we're going to get that out of the way. We can video it and all that stuff. But I'm going to get that one out of the way just so I can eat tacos with, with Greg. Okay. Sounds good. All right, guys. So uh, everybody, make sure you tune in December 9th. Greg Brown uh, production over on his YouTube channel. It's a free event. We got amazing, amazing super catches set up. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of lead up before we'll get all the other guys on on interviews as well. Um we got a, a stack card that day. It's going to be amazing. I thought Fred was going to come on. Was he scared tonight? What happened? He was in the gym, <laughs> doggy. He's, He's in, in the, the gym. gym. <laughs> oh, it's not going to help him. He needs more than the gym to fucking. Look at Ryan Ballesteros' smile, man. This guy needs a toothpaste sponsorship. Yeah, man. I'm buddy. Gonna whack this dude. <laughs> I'm just what excited, a man. Guy, I can't dude. wait. And I, and I got to say this to Freddie. Yo, I was staying all neutral and everything, but you know what? I'm team Tom now after that whole Twinkie freaking comment and all that. So <laughs> but get it, Tom. Rip his arm off. Taking him for a ride, bro. <laughs> He's arm wrestling buzz crew. So there it for is. Real, bro. We, we, we always come in in deep that day for real. Oh, yeah. Right, boys, um, thank you, for everybody, for tuning in. Everybody in the chat, if you hit, haven't hit that thumbs up, please hit that thumbs up. And uh, thank you guys all for coming on my show. It's a pleasure to have everybody on. Let's see. <laughs> show, baby. Get some sleep, Pradeep. Get some sleep, baby. Good to see you, Happy man. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.